Hello, my name is Joseph Chidebero Sigwe. I am the executive director, founder, Devatop Center for Africa Development, a youth-based anti-human trafficking organization with over 150 active volunteers in Africa. My mandate is to educate, inspire, and empower young people to be at the forefront of combating human trafficking, and as well engage private sectors and stakeholders to address human rights issues in Africa. Many thanks to U.S. Embassy for this opportunity and to U.S. government for setting a praise in the fight against human trafficking globally. The International Human Trafficking Conference is one of the largest gathering of anti-human trafficking experts. It is a platform that brings together over a thousand advocates, social service providers, students, lecturers, researchers to learn, network and collaborate. On 22nd September 2017, I presented my research work at the conference titled Voluntary Community Development Projects as a platform for social action and advocacy. I focus on you know, engaging volunteers in the fight against human trafficking. I also emphasize on the need to empower young people to be at the forefront of combating human trafficking. Since young people are the major target of traffickers, they need to be empowered to address this issue that affects their future. By listening to U.S. anti-human trafficking experts and advocates, I realized there is need to create more awareness among business uh, leaders and private sectors to engage them in the fight against human trafficking, and also for Nigerian government to attract the interest of private sector in the fight against uh, human trafficking. I also observe that combating human trafficking is a top priority of U.S. government. In fact, the president, the legislator, and the judiciary are audacious in their public statements and commitment to combating human trafficking. And this is something that the African nation should emulate. Also, the U.S. Business Supply Chain Transparency on Trafficking and Slavery Act 2015 has encouraged more businesses to help prevent human trafficking in the U.S. This is amazing and it serves as a call for African nations to replicate in their countries. From the knowledge I acquired from the conference and from the networking I had, I will lead my organization into engaging more partners, especially private sectors in the fight against human trafficking. Most importantly, we will ensure that we develop our mobile application called TOKAM, which will enable young people to report human trafficking and other human rights abuse. I call on young people to join the fight against human trafficking. This is something that affects the future of so many young people and has shattered the dreams of so many of them. We have to take action and nothing but action because if you don't do something now, something worse will happen. More young people will become victims to human trafficking and anyone can be a victim. It can be somebody close to you. It doesn't matter if someone is rich or poor, educated or uneducated, from rural area or urban area. We don't have to keep silent. We don't have to close our eyes to the cry of the oppressed. We have to stand up and take strategic action to combat human trafficking. Both the government, the private sector, and the citizen should jointly address human trafficking just as Ebola was addressed in Nigeria. In 2013, during my National Youth Service at Society Against Prostitution and Child Labor, I was uh, responsible in empowering over 180 repentant sex workers and victims of sexual exploitation. I was also trying to figure out the kind of project to execute as a youth copper. And then until I came in contact with a 14-year-old girl who shared a very pathetic story of how she was trafficked at the age of 12, her auntie promised her to uh, come to Abuja for education, but she ended up being uh, forced into uh, sexual uh, slavery, which is sex trafficking. So her story stimulated me to take action because after hearing her, I realized that human trafficking is a very big issue that must be given adequate attention. So that led me to carry out a project to train over 2,000 students and teachers on how to combat human trafficking. The testimonies and the stories I heard from these participants really energized me and showed that human trafficking is something that we have to take action. And that led me to start up the Devatop Center for Africa Development in Nigeria.
I call on young people to join the fight against human trafficking. Join the movement to end human trafficking. Through human trafficking, the future of so many young people has been frustrated, their dreams shattered, and their potentials caged because of triumph of human trafficking. Human trafficking thrive in the shadow and the silence of others. We have to take action and nothing but action to combat human trafficking. I call on young people anywhere you are, join us in the fight to end human trafficking and to build a nation where modern slavery does not exist. Stop human trafficking!